Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the another important road card that is Resolve road card. What is this Resolve road card? So let me try to explain you about this one. So here, the Resolve road card in Angular is designed to fetch the data before a route is activated. So when the before the route is getting activated or before entering into the route, the Resolve route card, uh, route card will try to fetch the data if any data pre-required data is required. This guard is helpful for preloading the data and ensures that a route only renders once required data is available. In Angular 18, we can set up a resolve guard in standalone components, components to streamline the data loading, especially when dealing with asynchronous data sources like HTTP APIs. So let's go through a detailed example to set up a resolve guard in Angular 18 with standalone components. Let's try, try to explain you. So for this one, what I will try to do it is so here in this one, I will create a component that is nothing but post list component. So let me create this component. So before after creating this component, so let me go to the app.routes.ts file and in this app.routes.ts file. So here I will create a new path that is nothing but port path post. So then I want to load the component that is nothing but post list component. So let me try to load it. So if it is uh, so if it is created means then we will try to load this one. So it will take some time to create. Let it create. So here the component is created. So let's try to add this post list component. Okay. So now for this post list component, so what we'll try to do. So for this one, we need to create a resolver. So that means this post list component tries, tries to show the post data. So I will be taking a simple JSON placeholder slash post. So this is the URL which I will be trying to take it. And we need to call this HTTP get data and we need to show this data as a table. So fine. So for this one, what I will try to do it is I will create a service here post resolver. So here I will be using post resolver dot ts file. So for this one, so what I will try to do is export constant post resolver of type resolve function. Okay, it is of resolve function and it need it will be it will it will array of post. So this one will be an interface. So let's try to create an interface export interface post and what is the type of data i will try to do it is id of type number <clears throat> and i will be having user id of type number and i will be having a title of type string and i will be having the body of type string that's it so these are this is so here it would be taking the post data. So here I will be using the export. So now export interface post ID number user ID title body. Okay. It's a post resolver and this could take the post. Okay, fine. So this is a function self function. So now what I would be trying to do it is. Uh, so here I would try to inject the HTTP first. So inject. So inject HTTP client. Okay, so I have injected the HTTP client and now what I want to do. So here we need to inject it this one. So that's it. So now here. So what I would try to do it is so here. So return HTTP dot get and this returns. We know that it returns an area of post and here this is the URL which you need to get it. So here we need to get the URL. That is nothing but JSON placeholder post. That's it. So now we have created the resolver. So we have did the resolver and how we need to mention it here. Uh, we need to mention it for this post list component, right? So here we need to resolve. So we need to use the resolve and here we can add for which URL you want to have. So here I can use post resolver. That's it. So now we know that we will be getting the post as a array of posts. So now here we are getting an error that no provider for the HTTP client. Okay. So we, first time we are using this one in our app.config.ts file. So here we need to provide the HTTP client. That's it. Okay. So that's it. So now if you try to see, so the error has been gone. So now let's go into our post list component. Okay. So this is our post list component. So here if I try to go to the slash post. So we need to get the route thing. So here if I try to get the route thing means so here I will be using route is equal to inject of activated route. So here I need to inject the activated route. That's it. So now if you want to check what is the data you are getting it is in the ng on init 
ng on init here you can write console dot log of this dot root let's try to check where this post data is coming so now if you try to see here this is the activated route and in this activated route if you try to check the snapshot in this snapshot you will be able to see a data in this data you will be see able to see the post is area of 100 or otherwise if you want to get an observable means you can get the data this is an observable so now what i can do here so we can have a post of post post data you will be getting area of post and this should be imported so that is nothing but from the interface okay so here you can use this sorry uh, this dot route dot snapshot dot data of post that's it finish and here you can write it in such a way that this dot post that's it so now if you want to check this output so we need to go to the html part so this is the html part and here you can have something like a table and in this table you can have a t head and in this one you can have a tr and th so you can show the title in the same scenario you can show the body so i do i am not concentrating uh, concentrating on the design t body and here you can loop over at the rate for loop so post of sorry post of post so you will get the post and here it should be of type post id post dot id and here in this one so you will be having the tr and in this one you will be having the td and in this one you will be having the post dot title and in the same scenario you will be having post dot body that's it so here i can remove this one and i can remove this one so now if you try to see here so we are able to show these all the post data we are able to show it so in this way so now whenever you are trying to go to the post page so here you will not you will be not writing the logic there's all http post and all those things so from here you will be mentioning this in the resolver so before the route is getting loaded so this resolver will try to get the data and it will load the component afterwards so you can also write it in a different way something like if you want to write it in an observable way means then here you can write it directly post is equal to this dot route dot data dot pipe okay pipe of map i can use the rxjs map and here you will be getting the data and here i can write something like return data of post that's it so now this one will be post of post data okay as post so you can add it like this now this one will be observable of post data and here we are able to get this one all so now we are getting this post right so this one will become an observable okay and here you can write it something like post observable and it should be of type async that's it so now here so if you are trying to use this async async means then we need to include the common module okay that's it now if you try to see the output then also you will be able to see the same output then also you will be able to see the same output so this is how we will be implementing the resolver function so hope you understood about this resolver function so if you try to see here in our app.config we have provided this HTTP client and this is the resolver function so resolve function with what is the type of data we are trying to return it and we are returning the http and in the routes we are implement the can deactivate sorry not can deactivate where is this resolve function and we are trying to send the data with the key name so this is how we will be using this resolve got so resolve got we will it will be very much useful when we are trying to use it so the use casing thing so where we will be using this use case uh, resolve route guard is so i will try to explain you so prefetching the data ensure that essential data like posts or the user profiles is loaded before navigate into the page means then we'll use this resolver reducing loading spinners when data is available instantly user don't experience blank pages or loading indicators improving seo and accessibility by loading content before page render web crawlers and screen reader, screen readers can access content immediately so this is the thing so this setup leverages angular ratings resolve got to ensure data readiness giving user a smoother experience so i'll be providing uh, so this is our this is what about the resolve got so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you